Welcome back to Reef Aquarium Fish, your go-to channel for all things reef related. I'm your host, Michael Rice, and today we're diving into the wonderful world of leather corals. Leather corals, also known as cult corals, toadstool corals, or even mushroom corals, are some of the most versatile and beginner-friendly corals you can add to your reef tank. But before you rush to the store to pick one up, let's talk about some important factors to consider when keeping leather corals in your aquarium. First up, feeding. Leather corals have specialized feeder tentacles that are excellent at capturing small particles in the water. Plus, many leather corals can also absorb nutrients directly from the water, making them relatively low maintenance when it comes to feeding. Now, let's shed some light on the topic of lighting. Leather corals are quite adaptable and can thrive under a wide range of lighting conditions, from moderate to high intensity. While they can survive in lower light, you'll see faster growth and more vibrant colors with higher lighting levels. When it comes to water flow, leather corals are pretty laid back. They can adapt to various flow conditions, but they tend to prefer moderate to high flow to keep their surfaces clean and free from debris. Just make sure the flow isn't too strong to avoid damaging their delicate structures. Now, here's a crucial tip about placement. Leather corals produce toxins that can be harmful to other corals, especially stony corals. So it's best to keep them in separate tanks to prevent any potential conflicts. If you must keep them together, try placing your leather corals downstream from stony corals and ensure there's enough activated carbon in the system to neutralize any toxins. Overall, leather corals are fantastic beginner corals that can thrive in most reef aquariums. However, don't be surprised if they go through a period of adjustment when introduced to a new tank. They might temporarily close up and not extend their polyps, but with patience and proper care, they'll bounce back in no time. And there you have it, folks, a crash course on keeping leather corals in your reef aquarium. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our fresh reef aquarium content every week. As always, thanks for tuning in, and until next time, happy reefing!